It's a time for Peggy from China. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. It's time to do this unboxing of the, uh, let's say, let's call this thing the PlayStation Vita ripoff. Yes, because they make a lot of these phone gaming Android phones, and we can do a lot of great things with it. So, but first, I want to do this unboxing together with you, simply because this thing is back up very well. So, we're going to get is this high quality box with some information on it here. We're opening it up, and as you can see, we have a very nice packaging. And that is something you don't see very often with these portable devices from China. Nowadays we're getting a lot of great boxes, but not this way. So this is more like the premium product. All right, so the product itself or the handheld, we're going to take a close look at it later. Comes with a sticker. Okay, we can pull this out. <coughs> Here we have some more information. I have no clue what to do with this, to be honest. And here we have the power supply and the charging cable that is a micro USB. So that's it. But there is something else what I noticed and that we're going to grab the phone for. All right, so the first thing that I noticed with the device is always quite heavy. So this is not our typical cheap Chinese device. It's a little bit more expensive than let's say Retro Game 350. And the question is, is it worth the money? And that's something we're going to find out. So we're having this clicky's D-pad. I don't know if it's going to play with finding games. We're having even the decals from PlayStation. So they are pretty naughty this time. We're having two analog stick. We're having two shoulder buttons. So for the people who want to have four shoulder buttons, it's an epic feel, I know guys. So we're having, having six functional keys to map to our games. And we're having here home, return, and we're having start and select. And yes, in the past I have handhelds that didn't have a start and select. So at the top we're finding micro USB, on and off switch. We're having a headphone. Let's see what we have at the side. At the bottom we're having the volume control. But what you can already see, we're having here a camera with a flasher. And we're having, I'm guessing this is the speaker itself. Nevertheless, let's open it up. That's the reason why it's still open. I just wanted to show you the inside and we having here we can use two sims because basically a phone we having here the sd slot for expanding internal memory and what i think is really cool we having here the battery itself they even put a little sticker over it that we that it can be used I'm guessing this device is brand new it was not listed like new but nevertheless we can assume it's new Let's see we're having here the capacity of 3000 milliamps, so it gives us quite some time to play. All right, let's put the battery in. Let's put the cover back on. It clicks on, it's very nice. And you don't need to be afraid that it will fall off. It happens. I'm guessing this is more like a naughty store. Oh no, we having already pre-installed some stuff. So I have seen this before with some of these devices. All right, so it's time for some Double Dragon number three. Damn, this thing is loud. All right, so I'm trying to use the built-in emulator or the program. Let's play. I must say the select and start button are very tiny. And for my big fingers, very hard to press. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I must say, if you look at how the controls play, you need to get used to the D-pad because it's just in one big clicky D-pad. Oh, stop walking. And it runs pretty smooth. You want to have a piece of me? You want to have a piece of me? Uh, you, you smell my boot. Yes, you smell my boot now. People, I'm getting sandwiched. Why can't I run and kick? But right, you're getting the point. Let's try another Super NES game.
Is this normal? Seems to be. No, this is not normal. So it seems to be even with this emulator. I have no idea what kind of emulator is running on this device, but it's glitching out. Alright, let's try it. Oh, is the analog stick playing? Let's bring the dynamite. Wow, this gun runs perfectly. Here, got a gift for you. The analog stick and the D-pad play very nice. I like this. Who's next? Nobody? Alright. Alright, so let's play a bit Street Fighter. Maximum volume, people. Round one. Fight. All right. Ooh, that was pretty smooth. Ah, forgot to configure the analog stick. Come on. Gotcha. But the games run like a charm. Alright, so let's talk about the specification of the product because here we have a small problem. So let's talk about the installed RAM. 2 gigabytes, not very special nowadays, but 2 gigs, it's more than enough. So this thing has a 60 gigabyte internal storage, it's also not very big, but you can always expand it with an SD card. Look at the CPU, this thing has a Gore-Tex A7 that is running on 1664 megahertz. So if it comes to the 8 core speed, that is pretty awesome. So, but now you're thinking, Wicked, what are you talking about if it comes to the specifications? Let's talk about the Mali 450 MP. That is a quite old version, so I'm not a big fan of it. But the biggest problem i having is not the screen resolution of 1280 by 720, but it is that it's running on an Android 4. So that gives of the problem, we cannot install every single game nowadays. And yeah, for example, if you want to run, let's say, Redream with Dreamcast, it's not supported on this old Android 
So if you can reinstall it and you can put another version on it, a little bit newer, that would be better. I know this product is not cheap, but I want to show you this LCD display up close. And even with a very big view angle, you can see it's just beautiful. And it's something you don't see very often with these price range devices. It's big and it's very beautiful. So that is pretty cool. All right, so let's talk about the experience I have with this device. So if you look at the buttons over here, you can already see they are very naughty. They basically copied the PlayStation part with the circle, the square, the triangle and the X. We having two analog stick, more like the PSP versions. I don't like these stick in general, but they are working pretty fine. There is another little thing, the D-pad. The D-pad itself is this very clicky D-pad. And for some games, let's say if you want to play a fighting game, it is possible, but you really need to get used to it. And for a type dial, for example, when I shoot them up, it works, but it's not perfect in many ways. So that is something I just want to say. What is really cool that we can use it like a telephone. If you want to do this, that is something that up to you. I just wanted to show here what the capabilities are of gaming. Also, what is very strange, you're already seeing the piece PPSPP here, oh man, I hate in this name, and you're pushing it, you can see unfortunately it gives you an error. So that is a little bit of a bummer, they're thinking, mm -hmm, why doesn't it work? But I'm guessing it's not even that important, because this thing is very underpowered for the PSP. Alright, so I must say when ordering this product I was pretty excited, and I did see some fellow YouTubers making a review about it, but I wanted to see it for myself. So in general, this is what we call a quality product. This is something I have not seen before if it comes to the quality and the price range. This thing goes around for 100 euro, so it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. The only downside I can think of is that this thing is running on the older Android. If we can fix this, we have a pretty decent device itself. It's an older hardware, but it emulates the older hardware pretty fine, including PlayStation 1. So it's an all-in-one device and it looks pretty cool. The D-pad, I'm not a big fan of it, but this is what you're going to get with this brand in general. What I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family, and don't miss out any new videos. That is mean. If you subscribe, hit the little bell. You'll see you in the next video.